Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, joining our My Hero Academia home screen setups, this time with a request score of a staggering 14,000, I bring you the alternative take of the full cowling Deku and Eerie home screen. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here they are, Deku going full cowling with the help of Eerie. Hey. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. What do you mean you've seen this? It's brand new. Now this one is an alternative take to a setup we've covered before. But this time, I thought we'll go much more dramatic with the live wallpaper, giving the pair a world warping power-up. Along with, of course, a couple subtle little details across the whole thing. Now as for the home screen itself, this one uses vibrant icons to match that energized look. As well as of course, a couple bold widgets to match. At the top, a clean date indicator. And above the app icons at the bottom of the screen, a detailed music indicator. Which I'll also show you how to change the color of right at the end of the setup. Overall, this one is a super easy home screen setup for you to recreate. Perfect for you beginners out there. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 11 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels and decrease your icon size, as well as disabling your home screen dock. So now that we have that out the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to give us that energized look matching our live wallpaper is the mermaid pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, these awesome KWGT widgets. But before we get into it, we need to make sure that we enable widget overlapping. You can find this at the bottom of Nova Launcher's home screen section. Just simply make sure to enable both of these options here. Now let's move on to our KWGT widgets. Starting right at the top of our screens with this bold date indicator. Straight from the outline pack is widget W119. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now here to match my look, make sure to long press it and toggle the padding option. Now with this widget, all we're going to do is simply adjust its size. To do this, we're going to head to the layer tab. Here, we want to adjust the scale option. Here, for my screen size, I went for a scale of 68.3. And of course, once done, don't forget to hit save before you leave. Now for the second widget of the setup, this bold detailed music indicator straight from the Spotic pack is Spotic Long 2. So let's start once more by loading in a KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. 
And just like we did in the first widget, we want to long press it and toggle the padding option. And because it is overlapping our home screen app icons, make sure to also select the option to send it to the back. And now within KWGT, just like we did in the first widget, we're once again going to decrease the widget size. But this time, we're going to go for a scale of 33.3. Now for those of you who want to take things one step further and change the color of the widget as well, as an optional tweak, the quickest way to do this would be from the item list, where you can use the plus button in the top right of your screens to add in a new shape item, after which you'll find it added in at the bottom of your item list. Now heading into it, we want to start by maxing out its size until it fills up all of your canvas, and then using the paint tab, we want to apply our custom color, followed by changing its filter from normal to multiply. Now when you head back to the main widget itself, you can see that the colors changed. Now all that's left to do is to use the handles on the left hand side to move our shape item higher up the list, placing it third from the top. And wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.